Live from your local news leader, home of the number one 10 p.m. newscast on the High Plains, KAMR Local 4 News at 10 starts now. Two people are dead after a Friday afternoon wreck in Carson County. Thanks for being with us tonight. Let's get to our top story tonight at 10. According to DPS troopers, it happened around 3.30 yesterday on State Highway 207, about 10 miles north of Panhandle. Troopers say a Ford pickup was driving north at an unsafe speed for road conditions and lost control of the vehicle, skidding into the southbound lane where a southbound vehicle hit it on its side. The driver of that Ford, 18-year-old Bailey Chisholm of Borger, died at the scene. The driver of the other vehicle, 47-year-old Susie Embry of Seymour, was flown to an Emerald Hospital with life-threatening injuries where she later died. Troopers say both drivers were wearing their seatbelts. The cause of the crash is still under investigation. Nearly triple-digit new COVID-19 cases across our area, area today. Facts not feared tonight at 10. 96 new COVID-19 cases were reported. There was also six new deaths to report, unfortunately. 196 new recoveries were reported, though, that bringing our total active cases across the area to 5,414. Here's a look at where you can go to get your coronavirus vaccine. You can head over to the Amarillo Public Health Department, 850 Martin Road. They're open Monday through Friday and offer both the Moderna and Pfizer vaccinations. You must set up an appointment before you go, though. And if you don't want to have to set up an appointment, you can always go to the mobile vaccination clinic next week. They'll be at Pinnacle Intermediate School, 4545 Meadow Ridge Drive. That will be on Wednesday from 4 to 7. President Biden made a last minute trip to Capitol Hill Friday to try and sync up his party to get his economic agenda passed, but lawmakers left for the weekend with no deal. KAMR Local Force Anna Warnicke reports how top Democrats are now working to salvage that deal before the end of the month. The latest from your local election headquarters. Meanwhile, the first women's march of the Biden administration made its way straight to the steps of the Supreme Court this morning. The demonstration took place just before the start of a new term for the Supreme Court. That will decide the future of abortion rights in the United States. The demonstration was one of several nationwide protests for abortion rights. That including the one here in Amarillo. The march started in Elwood Park this morning at 11 and went to the Potter County Courthouse and we spoke with those marchers who participated. For more political coverage along with that interview, you can find that over on our website, myhighplains.com. Time to set news headlines aside. Get a check on our forecast with forecaster Christian Rangel joining us now live from the Weather Center. Good evening, Christian. Hey, thanks, Jed. Carmel College getting a multi-million dollar grant to enhance STEM care pathways. That is in tonight's good news. AC has been awarded a nearly $4.8 million five-year grant by the Department of Education. The college will focus on developing a work-based learning system for STEM students, update technology skill instruction in, in STEM programs, and develop a STEM scholarship program. One of Amarillo's newest and more unique events back for another year. Today was the second Hoodoo Mural Festival in downtown, happening over on Polk Street. The festival celebrates the completion of artists' paintings five walls over the span of this past week. The festival was established in 2019 and says it creates an outdoor gallery for all to enjoy. I just think it's really important to have free public art. Things that are for the community. You don't have to buy a ticket to them. You can just go use this art. We we're creating this public, walkable, bikeable art gallery for just everyone in Amarillo and hope. A new feature this year was the addition of a music festival. Attendees were able to enjoy the live music, live painting and art demonstrations and food trucks as well. It was a way to show support to kids with Down syndrome and their families. Coming up, we have a look at Amarillo's 20th annual Buddy Walk. And later, we'll check back in with Christian for a full look at your forecast. You're watching KAMR Local 4 News at 10.